Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in the Physics Surgery Originals. I have brought forward to you a simple modified puzzle uh, from the very good textbook of Resnick, Halliday and Walker and this I have done this two years back for my students. It was a cute little problem so I think you should be able to solve this. So let me present to you the formal wording of the question. This is it. It's a single option, correct type, multiple choice question. So here we go. If wheel has eight spokes, it is mounted on a fixed axle and is spinning at a constant angular velocity. You want, a sh you want to shoot an arrow parallel to this axis and through the wheel without hitting any of the spokes. Okay, so here it is. The minimum speed the arrow must have is V close, V mid and V far for three cases where arrow was aimed on the same radius of the wheel that is the same spoke of the wheel at a distance R by 4, R by 2 and 3 R by 4 from the axle respectively. Ignore gravity and assume all other conditions for the three arrow experiments to be the same. Choose the correct option for the order of the speeds that you are supposed to choose. So here the four options that are given are V close equal to V mid, mid is equal to V far and then uh, one is greater than the other is greater than the last one and the other options as you could clearly see right so you want to give it a try pause a minute try to think about it and then come forward for the solution that i am going to present okay so here's the solution for it so the idea is as you could see the right of the picture that if the arrow of length l right is supposed to pass through this gap which is being aimed at any position the time taken for this length l to pass through would be equal to let's say t1 which is l by v Right. During this uh, particular time, the spoke should not hit the uh, arrow, right? So the time taken for the spoke to cover the angle in the gap, right? So how many spokes he said it is existing? Eight, right? So the angle is 2 pi by 8 and the angle will be covered by a T2 is equal to 2 pi by 8 divided by omega. So the idea is very simple for the arrow to miss the hitting of the spokes would be T1 less than T2. That means the time taken for the arrow should be smaller to pass through as compared to the time taken for that angle to turn, right? So if you re uh, substitute these numbers into that inequation that we got, we end up having a V requirement greater than this uh, 4 omega L divided by pi, which means the minimum value of your arrow experiment should be this number. As you could see on the right side, there is no uh, mention of any radius at which you are actually aiming it. Okay, so that should be independent of the position of the aim. That How can you understand that? So initial intuition might be, if you are not reading the question carefully, that you might think that let me aim at the uh, outer edge, right? So the idea is that outer edge, these wheel points would be moving faster. So the angle coverage is the same irrespective of the speed of this. So it's the omega that decides and not the speed of the sp spoke points. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward question in case you have got it. That's why I said it's a cute little puzzle. So the required answer for this should be the first option. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, there are many more originals and the link of the playlist uh, is in the description below and other puzzles and other uh, interesting problems are presented to you in different series as you could keep search surfing through the playlist in the description below and also what i have done is i have put forward the topic wise playlists also so if you are interested in one particular topic let's say gravitation you can surf through those in the playlist of the channel itself okay so happy surfing and i hope you have liked this video please do like it share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel after exploring two or three videos uh, the quality of the content would definitely impress you and i would uh, be i'm confident that you would do so okay so thank you take care and see you in the next video